Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Edward Shin and this is the Korkum Outdoors. This weekend, uh, we're gonna do a two-nighter. I just got out of work and I just drove for a few hours to meet up with them out here in Oregon. There is a designated place in mind. We put the coordinates in our maps and we are all meeting there and it is about seven o'clock when i'll get there basically the plan is just to meet up and just hang out and chill i guess we'll play by ear maybe explore some of the roads out there if not just hang out at camp but yeah aside from that i'm glad you're here as always grab your favorite drink make your favorite snack sit back and relax and enjoy the show All right guys, so made it to camp. Freaking beautiful sight. I just got here. I need to uh, set up my shelter, but just gotta take a minute to just kind of enjoy this view out here. Made it just in time for golden hour. Jason and Donald are already getting their shots. But as for me, I'm just gonna set up real quick. Right, and now I'm going through this in the wild. And it's like I've been doing is just turning my camera on and I'm sure you get the questions all the time, Mike. Like, blah, 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 and I got running late. That was because I was at Dirt Road and Aaron... Well, you know, and we 
All right guys, so we just had our breakfast and we're just hanging out right now. Got my second cup of coffee today. And as you can see, we're at this gorgeous location. I mean, I thought it looked beautiful yesterday at sunset, but right now, just even with the sun way up in the air, uh, you can see how beautiful it is just in the distance. You see the valley, uh, you see the mountains. There's still some wildfires going on around the area. So um, if you look over the valley, you'll see it blanketed by some of the smoke. Right now we have like two options. One is just kind of hang back, kick it. Second option is we could leave this campsite, which is at the dead end of a forest road, um, and just explore and look for other sites, maybe see what else is around here. But the risk of doing that is, is when we come back, because we can't, if we don't find any other sites, this one might get taken. Either way, I'll keep you guys informed and on board. So we decided to pack up camp and do some exploring. Although our stomachs were full from the bacon grease filled breakfast, we were still hungry for adventure. Donald had a few places he wanted to check out, so we headed out like overland predators looking to devour some trails. We were out for blood. Nothing was going to stop us. Absolutely nothing. down this way anyways and see if we can get to that location Donald was trying to get to if it does turn out that it is uh, blocked down that way there's a loop that should loop us back so that way we don't at least have to backtrack the same trail we can explore a new trail and loop back around and kind of get back up towards where we were at it always goes as badly as it can go when I'm leading other people if I was out here by myself it would have gone perfectly <laughs> but if there's one thing I do feel like is really good about this route you've chosen is that all the trees we can film. <laughs> so we continued on, driving forwards and backwards, and I had plenty of opportunities to scratch up the vinyl wrap and add some pinstripes. 